Hi, everybody. Hello, my sugar bears. Happy Thursday evening. I know it's late, but I wanted to come on and do a video that for me is very personal. Um, I wanted to talk about Britney Spears and her conservatorship. And the reason why I would want to talk about this is because this has really been on my mind, like for a while now, ever since I heard about it. And, you know, at first I didn't know what a conservatorship meant, like, you know, what it means and what it entails. And upon doing research, I found out that basically a conservator has, uh, they basically tell you what you can and cannot do with your estate, with your life. That like your life is basically in their hands. And it's normally for people who, who are elderly, who are invalid, things like that. Um, so when I heard about the Britney Spears case, I didn't know what to make of it at first because I'm like, she's a grown woman, you know. So actually let me back back up before I go deeper into this. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. Okay, now, so now I got that out of the way. Um, but I ended up watching uh, a channel. There's a channel on on here called Deep Dive, and they do they go really in depth about Britney Spears and her situation. And I'm probably gonna link the first part um of their expose i'm going to link it so that way you guys can watch it because it was really good so i have to give them a, a special shout out they did a really good job and i think it's a i think it's a three part either three or four parts to it but it's really good and really well researched um and i'm really into channels like that like i watch a lot of i watched dive i watched the right opinion i watched jay aubrey i love jay aubrey but anyway um but I wanted to talk about this because this is home for me. Um, I grew up with, well, when I grew up with Britney, literally, but with her as a pop star, I remember when she first came out in 97, I was in high school when Baby One More Time came out. I remember the, like, the impact that she made. She was, <clears throat> she was our generation's Janet. Like, she really was. And I, and I know people are going to come for me comparing her to Janet, but she was. Um, and she just, when she came onto the scene, you know, everybody wanted to do little, the little dance that she did, but they wanted to dress in the schoolgirl outfit. Um, and what I remember most about Brittany was just, she was a performer, like, when I tell you she gave you a show, she gave you a show. One of my favorite Britney concerts and mind you, I've never actually been to a, I've been to outdoor concerts, but I've never been to a, like a theater one, like an amphitheater concert. But one of my favorite things that I actually watched um, that she did was she, when she did her show in Las Vegas. And that was during the um, Slave for You era. And for me, that was when I was graduating. I graduated high school by then. So, you know, Britney was that girl. And mind you, Britney may not have the, oh, you know what? And I'm not even going to say that. I don't think that Britney has a bad voice because I actually don't think she does. I think she's been vocally trained to sing a certain way. And we've gotten used to it. And I hope that if she ever does come back to the music industry, that she actually is allowed to sing as she wants to. Because if you go back to maybe even her being on Star Search and the Mickey Mouse Club, wow, well, I have kind of grown up with Britney. Um, <laughs> um, she had a very strong, very heavy voice. Um, but that's not that's not what I want to talk about. But I want to talk about just Britney and the conservatorship thing because as a disabled person, it really does get home for me. Uh, as a person who has a somewhat complicated and complex relationship with their family, it hits up, it hits home for me. Uh, I've been in situations, maybe not to, to the degree that she's in, but I've been in situations where you feel as if you don't have your own freedom. 
I've been in situations where everything is dictated, like how to how to how to excuse me, how to walk, how to talk, how to how to dress, how to conduct yourself, everything. So I know in a way sort of what it's like to be controlled. Like I said, not to the extent that she is under, but I understand a lot of her, like why she's like, listen, you know, if I'm if I'm capable enough to go on tour and dance and perform all these nights and make all this money, then I'm sure as hell good enough to, I'm capable enough to shop for my own feminine hygiene products and have a child, you know? And like I said, for a person who's disabled, it really, like when I really found out about it, it really hit home. I'm like, wow, that could be me. I could be a Britney Spears. And I would imagine there are so many people who are either going through what she's going through or who have been through what she's been through. And I think that's why this is such a big deal. It's not just because it's Britney Spears. That's, she's the face of it. But if you really look at it, it's a lot deeper than that. So that's why I wanted to come on and talk about that. But I also wanted to, you know, that was my personal perspective, but I also wanted to give a psychic perspective on this. I wanted to give a spiritual perspective on Ms. Britney Jean and what's going on in her world and if things will get better. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel. As we all know, she's been told that she can choose her own attorney, which is wonderful. That's a step, you know, but I wanted to just dig a little deeper. And I figured with the help of, you know, my spiritual team and with, you know, my intuition, we can maybe see what she has in store for her. So, you know, that was another reason why I wanted to make this video. So right now, I'm going to go and do a reading. We're going to do a reading on poor uh, Miss Brittany Jean Spears. And if anybody from her team, if, if she herself, I doubt she watches YouTube videos, but she might. But if she herself watches this, uh, I really like, you know, Miss Spears, I know you don't know me from Eve, but I really do wish the best for you. And I thank you for being, even though I know you don't mean to be, I thank you for being a, a kind of a, a spokesperson for people who don't have voices, who are going through what you're going through, who have gone through what you've gone through. You know, I thank you for that. And I really do wish the best for you. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy that you're starting to live your life not only on your terms, but how you see fit. So, and with that being said, let me do the reading. All right. Get myself nice and grounded. So I'm telling you to stop. All right, and if you want a reading, if you would like a reading, one-on-one, -on -one, um, you can either do it with me on Skype, Zoom, phone, email, just go to my website, psychicleo.com, and all the pricing and everything is there. So, so let's see what we got going on for Miss Brittany Jean. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. So the, the card that sent out to me, this card sent out to me the most. This is the Four of Wands. And if you know anything about um, the cards, if you, even if you're a reader yourself, cause I actually want my other readers and psychics to chime in. Um, I get that she knows what's ahead of her. I pick up that she's actually assembling her own team, not just lawyers, but lawyers, managers, publicists. Um, I get books, I get interviews, I get like her, like, like opening the floodgates. Um, social media is really her outlet right now. I know that right now she's been going through it with her sister. 
Jamie Lynn, but I feel like there's it's gonna get not worse, but we're gonna hear more. Like she's gonna be more open and more like just raw, just unfiltered. And she knows what she has to do. She's she's ready. She is so ready. And I mainly get that a lot of this has to do with her father. Um, her mother too, but I feel like more her dad. Um, I know that she thought about or she said she wanted to sue her parents. Mm. There's something, because I feel like there will be a lawsuit involved, but there's something else that she's going to do regarding them. And I definitely see a book coming out. Um, yeah, I see a book. And I want to I get a tour or tours. Um, and she may do like one more album. And I get a lot of unreleased stuff, a lot of unreleased albums. And I feel like her next album is going to be really experimental really different like I hear different instruments and like not what we're used to like think of Blackout think of the Blackout album but multiply that by like five so I get that I feel like that's what she's going to end up doing she she knows what she has to do and I feel like she and I also see her getting rid of a lot of her staff a lot of the people that she, like, she's cutting a lot of people off. This is deeper than family. They, like, this is family. This is people that she's worked with. Like, people that have infiltrated her organization. She's going to start cleaning the house. Um, and I feel like she's ready to do the work. She's just, she's on it. Like, she, or she will be um, in the next month or so. She's going to be on it. Like, for real, for real. Um... So I get a lot, there's a lot of bones in this reading. So what it's telling me is that there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of passion in this. There's a lot of fire regarding um, this whole thing with Miss Spears. One second, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so there's a lot going on. So the card that presents the problem is the eight of bones. So what this is telling me is that these are things that she's always wanted to do. These are things that she's always wanted to say but she's never had the opportunity to say it or to do what she's doing. Like even with her going on vacation, she she almost feels like a defiant teenager um, in a lot of ways. Um, and I'm also picking up around her. I get her having more kids too. I feel like she's going to end up I see her doing the tour, like I keep getting tours in my head. So forgive me if I sound like I'm rambling because I'm getting a lot. Um, yeah, I do see her doing a tour and I believe she's gonna end up retiring. Like by the time she's maybe, cause I know, I think she's 39 or 40. I know she's around my age. And I feel like by like 43, 44, she'll be like, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with the industry. Like, I'm done with the music industry in that capacity. Because I see her writing. I see her producing. I see her in the studio. But she may not be recording, like, her own music. She may be producing and writing for other artists. Um, and I see her, like, not just, like, wanting her one and a half children, but um, just to have some semblance of a normal life. Um, and I feel like she's been wanting to rebuild, you know, her life. She, this has taken a lot of strength out of her. This has taken a lot of courage out of her, like a lot. This has really been a challenge, but she also knows how am I going to move on? How am I going to get my life back? And I feel like there may be more than one judge that she ends up going through with this case. Um, do I see her? 
I feel like she's going to end up getting free of it, but it's going to take it's going to take at least a good year to two years. And it will be a process. And I see her going through therapy. Like I get a lot from this. This is this is going to be a complete turnaround. Uh, but I do see her being very happy. And I get her, believe it or not, getting back to where she like, because I know people have, have commented on how she looks. I see her actually gaining weight, but not weight to where it's like dramatic, but like weight to where it's healthy. Like it's a healthy weight for her. I see her doing that. I see her running around with her children, her dogs. Um, I get that she's going to live on the beach or near the water somewhere. Um, yeah, she's, this has been, excuse me, this has been a long time coming. This really has been. And I feel like she and her mother, there's an issue with she and her mom. Like they're going to repair the relationship. Because I feel like she and her mother, they don't, they love each other, but there's something, I feel like there's somebody in the middle. Like there's something in the middle as to why she and her mother don't really mesh. Um, but I feel like she and her mother, they're either going to have it out. I feel like there's a repair. I keep getting a repair around me with her mom. Because I see, I see a woman with brown hair. I know her mother is a brown hair lady. And I just see she and her mother like having a real come to Jesus meeting and being like, look, you know. So I that's what I think of around that. So yeah, she's Brittany's ready to do it. Like she's not playing. Um, right now, the world card. So what this is telling me is that there's the ending of one cycle, the beginning of another. So what's going on with her now is that now that she's gotten this whole thing um going she's like okay now i can do what i've always wanted to do as she said to her sister it's just the beginning i'm not going to sit here and pussyfoot anymore i see her being more blunt i hear her literally yelling at people and telling people to fuck off and just just saying what she's always wanted to say saying what she truly feels. Um, I also see her getting back into acting. Um, just things that she's always wanted to do. I feel like she really wants to be a wife and a mom. She does not, she likes performing, don't get me wrong. But I also see a woman who's just like, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I don't, you know, I, I, I no, I'm done. I, I want to, I want to be a mother. I want to sit down and be a wife. You know, um, I feel like she and Kevin Federline, there's some issues with like a custody issue or something going on. She's going to come to a, a impasse with that. She's really working on cleaning house. Like she really is. And I know I sound like I'm kind of repeating myself, but I really get that around her right now. Uh, I also see her reaching out to a lot of her industry friends. Um, I feel like she and Christina she and Christina are either going to do something or they're going to plan to do something or they're just going to meet up and be girlfriends again. Because I feel like things, like she's, that's the thing. She's lost connection with so many people. And so what I see her doing is I see her rebuilding a lot of relationships. Um, and, and But more importantly, her rebuilding her relationship with herself. Like everything from, I'm sorry if you guys can't see it, Everything from her life, her body, to her children, to her, even connecting with old family members. Because I see her actually going back to visit people like tennis. I get Tennessee, I get Louisiana, maybe Florida. Like, I feel like she's going to visit family. Like, there's a lot that she's doing right now. So the reason why she's been taking trips and because she's reconnecting. She's really reconnecting with herself and those around her. Um, okay, so this was the first card that I pulled. First card I pulled was the death card. So what this was telling me was that she really was going through a really, not just a tough time, as we all know, but she is at a point in place, 
and I want to say about two, three years ago. I get the numbers two and three. No, three to six. She really went through through a place or through a phase where she was like, you know, I'm happy, but I want to be happier. And I get major depression. I get um, almost suicidal kind of things that she went through during this time. The one thing that kept her alive was, was her children. And I want to say her eldest child really kept her going. Um, her eldest boy, because I see a, a young boy. Um, and I just get that she really was going through it. And a lot of what her fans and her core followers were saying was true. She just couldn't express it. So yeah, she she is she's always been preparing to live her life on her terms and to really show people that I'm a human being. I'm not just a you know a blonde girl that can dance. You know what I mean? I I have feelings and emotions and yeah, because I pick up a lot of writing, a lot of writing. Um, I feel like at one point she was doing not drugs, but I wouldn't say maybe prescription addiction um, at one point during that time, during, during this three to six year window, she was going through a lot. A lot. I get a lot of tears. I get a lot of anger. I get somebody who felt as if they were a prisoner, like they just had no freedom. And fast forward to now, she feels as if her life is finally coming together because not only does everyone around her know what's really going on, like her real folk, but her public knows. Um, the last card I get is the sun card. So what this is telling me is that once this is all done, she's going to come out of this more confident, more self-assured, more of a woman. Um, I actually, I hear her like talking and she's so happy. Uh, she's giggling. She's in love. I feel like whoever this man is that she's with, he really is a good man for her. Uh, and he genuinely loves her. He loves Britney Jean. He doesn't, Britney Spears is cute, but Britney Jean is his, is his favorite. Um, and I feel like they're going to have another boy. Um, she's going to have another boy child uh, with him. And maybe a girl too, because I feel like she really wants some girls. Um, yeah, so I do see that. I do, once again, I keep picking up her touring. I see books, I see interviews. I feel like she's going to get really into the creative process of music, but I also see her acting as well. So I feel like she's got a lot. She's, she's planning a lot of things, but I also pick up that this litigation, I get at least a good year to two years. And don't quote me on that because I will be. The first to admit, I am horrible with time frames. But that's what I pick up around this whole thing with Miss Britney Spears. Um, I hope that this made sense. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about Britney Spears and her conservatorship issue? Do you relate to it? Um, are, you on, are you a part of the Free Britney movement? Let me know what you think. And I will talk to all of you soon. Have a great night. I love you all. Bye-bye.